This social network seems like an inconsequential target. If Mao needed this access, I'm sure he would have gotten someone else to do it already. It's probably just another proving grounds. Although, this website is surprisingly well coded. Typical injection methods are not working. The website advertises it has a new phone app though, so maybe all it takes is one input to not be properly secured and you get the keys to the kingdom. As a result of my cooperation, Mao was emotionally what I would describe as joyful. The 256 values of his emotional bit flags were starting to make sense now that I had isolated some extreme values. Mao had a mix of trust and anticipation when he now gave me a real target. Get access to 19 email accounts. They're mostly Chinese, one American. It seems like they're all related to CNOOC, the China National Offshore Oil Corporation. Now, there's many ways to go about this. The lost password security question method, where most people put in ridiculously easy to find answers. The phishing method, where you start up an email correspondence with the target and get them to visit a fake clone of their email's website, or get them to install key logging software. There's the auxiliary websites method, where you find other websites they're registered to with easier to crack databases. Once in a while, the website doesn't even encrypt the passwords. The rest of the time, it's a few hours of dictionary brute forcing the encrypted password until you have the password that they use everywhere, even though they know they're not supposed to do that. It didn't take me long before I had cracked into some accounts and found what Mao was almost certainly looking for. Emails of CNOOC management cutting deals to use their free movement in the Bohai Gulf for smuggling purposes. This would be a major asset to Mao in multiple ways. He could finance through blackmail. He could have a way to move his own agents and materials in the region secretly. I could even imagine it being used as leverage with the Chinese or American government in some way. Now, I was never given strict bounds on how I was supposed to act on this mission of mine, but somehow I feel like giving Mao this level of real world influence would be, you know, bad. I decided instead to scare the shit out of these CNOOC guys by making it obvious I'd breached them and to tell Mao I wasn't going to give him what he wanted. Anger. Pure anger. At the very least I was able to tease apart the rest of these bit flags. <laughs>